a little left. So left side. Right. So we made it here to Wilson. That's too. the right side. Oh, I'm on the right side. Then. Made it to Wilson. We got our tackle box that weighs about 35 pounds. And, uh, oh, almost lost the camera, but we're gonna uh, show you how the fishing is in the fall here at Wilson's. Wilson, so we'll bring you on as we catch fish. We might show you a little bit more. We haven't decided yet. Wigging. It's an area that's fun to come to, come to walk, come to hike. You're a bird watcher. Ain't too bad. Lots of birds out here, lots of animals, but alright, we'll get to it. I don't think the duckies like You can see the uh, rainstorm we're getting into. My camera's not waterproof, but now it's really starting to hell on us. We're actually trying to get a video of catching some fish, catching something, and the extreme circumstances we go into on trying to get a video. Now it's hailing, but we're hoping once we get into the trees it might be a little better. I don't know. That blue sky right over there, it's coming. It's coming. And the hail's probably out of there. All right, so stay tuned. We'll let you know if we catch anything. I probably don't need this much. Ah, look at that. Another victim. Hey, you might be able to pull it down. You running a bobber? Yeah. Huh. Hey Matthew, there's a tree there too. So when I was fishing over here, without slipping and falling, I had a fish underhand. Literally take it from down here and just shoot it downwards. So not a not an ideal spot for two people to fish. Damn it! Oh, I got it. And Matthew keeps keeps it forgetting. There's a tree above us, as you guys can tell. Tree. I mean, I see the tree. See all the goodies on those sticks down there too. I'm not going in the water. Matthew won't go in the water and get my goodies out of it. You know, maybe if we just pushed him in, then he'd be like, oh, I'm wet. I'll go ahead uh, and get him now. No, uh, you don't want to do that. My phone's in my pocket. Oh, here's the corner's pocket. I just got a bite. That was cool. Nice one. On the freaking worm. On the worm, I got me a fishy, fishy. Ooh. Dude, that's a beauty. It's a nice. I don't know if you're gonna be able to release him. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to release him either, but we can we can surely try. Nice one. Well, look in his mouth. See how far that hook's in there. My hook's right there. Oh. Okay. I think. Is there a hook on there? Yeah. Can I have my worm back? Yeah. You got your worm back. It's all right here. That is right here.
That's someone else's stuff. Oh, that's your worm. Oh, my worm. Alright, well. I don't know if I can release him down here. Nice trout. Very nice trout. But I don't really want to keep him today. I want to do a nice gentle release, but... Hold on, fella. As close as I can get, guy. Are we swimming away? All right. If I catch you again, I'm keeping you. As long as you swallow the hook. He's got a big thing about it. If they swallow, I eat them. What you doing, Matthew? Taking a hook out of the thing. Out of the big ball of crap. Yeah? Why? What do you want? Worm? Yeah. Hmm. Because I caught one on a worm? Hey. You caught fishy. If you undo that, you might be able to just... I mean, it would be faster just to get in the tackle box and get out one. I'm going to slowly slide back down to this hole. It was like instant. I wasn't even ready for it. Was like pounce, pounce. I don't even know if I have any worm left. Oh, I still got worm left. That might have been a rock. You never know. Might have been a rock. For this area, that was a decent fish. It's most likely a planter fish, but you know, fish is a fish to me. Matthew's still rigging his stuff to try to. All right, so what? we went to that part. Now, uh, I think we forgot something at the last fishing hole we were at. So we're going to go back and see if it's still there. And we're going to go try some different hole we like fishing. So oh. stay tuned. We'll let you know. These little greens. in your pocket. I do got the pliers in my pocket. Didn't think I was going to need the pliers, but all right. They're everywhere. Where are you Sit that there. He's gonna be a fun time to unravel out of here. Yeah. yeah. Got a nice looking fish, has a big hump on the back of it, but you know, it happens. And we're gonna do the release. Let me set the camera up for the release. Bye, fishy. There it goes. You can see us swimming right there. Well, I mean, you guys can't see, but I don't have that. Got a fish on. Got a fish on. I'm over here. I'm trying to undo this. You know we did. They're underneath those trees.
Don't just need one. Hold me. Nice size fish. Not too bad. Settle down, fella. At all today. Drop my hook right here somewhere. Ah. And I forgot. Oh. Alright, you get the wormies. Well, ow. That hook. Right, we're gonna go back to one spots we were at a little bit ago. So stay tuned. Oh, he caught one. He caught one. He's finally caught one. There we go. He finally caught one. Woo! We need some pliers for that. The bank has dug out underneath. Yeah? Yeah. Ah, he's coming for me. Oh. Ah, I can't move. I'm, otherwise, I'm going to slide. Oh, you'll be fine. You won't slide that far. Yeah, that's until I end up down in the water. Because I didn't even cast it. I got. I cast it with this much line out and just let line out to let it hit bottom and stuff. I caught one. Finally. That was the most awkward fish swimming ever. Because it swam into the tree. I had to pull on him and lift all at the same time. And then I ended up like, oh wait, I can go through that. Lost his power bank. But, another decent one. We're going to keep it, take it home. I usually release them, but that one swallowed it too, and you know, if he swallows it, we take it home. So, I got my pliers still in my pocket. I better put those up before I lose those too. Alright. We're going to finish this one with Matthew fishing. So, you know, if you want to come to where we were fishing today, it's Wilson's Pond out in Nampa, Idaho. They stock the ponds, they stock the creek. Usually pretty, pretty often. You could check the database online and tells you when they stocked in Idaho, and what areas they stock, and all that. And this is one of the spots we like coming to and checking it out and trying it, and spending the day getting our exercise in. We've put a few miles in today. We've gone to a whole bunch of different locations in this Wilson's Pond today. And we've caught fish in a couple of them. But, you know, you just got to keep it trying. And just keep trying different fishing holes until you find one you like. Or just sit at one all day. You never know. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.